Hello everyone, good evening, welcome to my channel Daptas Institute. So today I will take one class for mathematics that is statistics from class 10 uh, syllabus. Um, from statistics we know that there are three terms are there that is mean, median and mode. Okay. So today we will do only means parts and mean can be calculated by different methods that is for ungrouped data, group data and ungrouped data is calculated by another three methods. Okay. So one by one we will learn from uh, from the basics that is from first we learn the how to find mean by direct method. Okay. That is today's lecture is mean. Okay. So mean for mean for an grouped data by direct method. Okay. First, I give you the formulas, and after that, I will solve you. Uh, I will solve one or two questions from each topics. Okay. Let x1 comma x2 comma x3 dot dot xn are the number of observation okay observation of an oh, of an experiment no need of an observation and f1 f2 f3 dot 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 fn are the respective frequencies okay respective frequency frequencies then that is we may say we we may say x1 x1 occurs how many times occurs f1 times x2 occurs how many times f2 times and so on okay and so on now the formula the formula of mean is now total number of frequency is what sir frequency equal to f1 plus f2 plus f3 plus dot dot plus fn okay plus seven now sum of therefore sum of all values of observation equal to f1 x1 f2 x2 plus the root plus fn xn okay now mean mean that is x bar is denoted by x bar it's the formula is sum of all observations divided by total number of total number of frequencies okay so sum of all observation is f1 x1 f2 x2 f3 x3 plus dot root plus fn xn divided by f1 plus f2 plus f3 plus dot 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 plus fn so mean will be we can say we can write summation of fx by summation of f or you can try summation of f1 fi xi or summation of fi that is i is what where i is 1 2 3 4 up to n i equal to 1 2 3 dot dot okay so these are the basic formula of mean how to calculate okay you all of you have learned this formula in the previous class that is a uh, class 8 9 okay so, so this is the formulas of mean how to find out formula that is ungrouped data by direct method if x1 x2 s3 dot dot xn are the n numbers or uh, n number of observation total number of observations and f1 f2 f3 dot dot fn are the respective frequency then x1 occurs f1 times x2 occurs how many times f2 times and so on so total frequency will be f1 plus f2 plus f3 plus dot dot fn and or you can say this one is summation of f okay 
and sum of all the observations is f1 x1 plus f2 x2 plus or fn x n or we can say that is summation of fx okay so the so now mean x bar will be sum of all observation divided by total number of frequency so all observation is this one frequency is this one so we can say summation of fx by f okay got my point now from that formula we will do one or three problems okay from that topic so move on the so students our first question is <coughs> our first question is like that the distribution height of 50 student nearest to centimeter okay is given below that is the height of 50 student is given in centimeters okay so we have to calculate the mean correct to one place of decimal that is four option is given two option is correct we have to find out okay so first i write here this is height in centimeter this is number of students okay that is f okay now after that this one is x i this one is x i and this one is f i now f i into x i okay now first is what 110 number of student is 110 centimeter how many students are there that is six students and 115 centimeter is 100 how many students eight students okay and 108 student is 14 student okay and 120 is 15 student and 121 121 centimeter is four students and 125 centimeter is how many students are three students so now now we cal calculate the sum of all frequencies or total number of students so total number of students will be what this one is 20 20 plus 8 28 28 and 23 30 30 43 43 and 7 50 okay this one is 50 now we have to multiply this okay we have to multiply this if i multiply this this by this it will be 0 6 6 if you multiply this it will be 0 40 40 into 4 14 8 8 plus 4 is 12 and 8 so 820 okay so 920 this will be 920 okay so 920 next one is if you multiply by this it will be 1652 and if i multiply with this it will be 1800 0. 15 to 12 is 1 8 and then 0 0 and if i multiply 4 into this one is 4 4 this is 8 and 4 okay I and mean, if i multiply this 125 into 3 it will be 75 and 3 375 okay now we have to find out summation of summation of x fi and x or summation of fx okay if i add all of this the answer will become 5891 okay it will become 5891 now mean x bar is equal to summation of fx by summation of fi so 5891 divided by how much 50 so if you divided by 50 it will come 1 1 3 7 point 8 okay 1 1 7 point. if you divide this by this it will came near about 1 1 7 point 8 okay set to centimeter so which option is correct here option a is the correct answer option a is the correct answer okay got my pen option a is the correct answer got my pen so what i'm doing here i just take this part and multiply as i take this uh, i take this part what is given here that is height observation number of observation is given frequency after that i'm uh, 
multiply this by this here and after that I summing I I do the sum or total of, of, of all this there is I find out fx is what and after that I find out what summation of f is what okay so use the formula simple formula f mean x bar equal to summation of fx by f that is 5891 by 50 and after simplification what came up if you divide this one it will be 117.8 centimeter so which option is correct option c a is the correct okay option a is the correct sir so move on the next question so students our next question there is a question number uh, two the mean if the mean of the following data is 15 then we have to find out the below p is what okay four option is given we have to check which option is correct right so let's start so here given xi and fi okay i write it in column form this one will be f x i okay so x i is what this is 5 and 10 15 20 25 okay fine now f is what frequency 6 and this one is p we have to find out the below p here 6 10 and 5 6 p 6 10 5 okay so f x i x so it will be if you multiply this by this it will be 30 if i multiply this by this it will be 10 p if i multiply this by this, it will be 90 sir and if i multiply this by this it will be 200 okay and if i multiply this by this it is 125 125 so summation of fi is what sir if i sum this one this will be 12 12 this one is uh, 20 12 plus 5 that is 17 okay 12 plus 5 17 17 plus 10 that is 27 27 plus p 27 p okay so 27 plus p here f y x i will be users at this 200 and this one is 90 290 290 plus 30 that is 320 320 plus 125 320 plus 320 plus 125 it will be 544 4. there is 445 445 plus 10 p okay so 445 plus 4 445 plus 10 p 445 plus 10 p will be the product of f a f, 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 f x okay the below of f x is 445 plus 10 p now come here now according to the question according to the question mean is given mean is what sir mean is 15 okay and we can write the mean formula of mean is what sir summation of f f i x i by summation of f i okay now i just write the way put the below of f f f i x i is what that is f x 445 plus 10 p and summation of f is what sir 27 plus p will be 15 so now cross multiply this one this is 27 into 15 plus 15 p equal to 445 plus 10 p okay if i is take 10 p here it will be minus 10 p and here it will be 445 just multiply 27 into 15 what will be there it will be 0 3 sorry 5 7 the 35 carry is 3 and 5 into 2 10 10 plus 3 is 13 that is 7 that is 2 it will be 5 into 0 and it will be 4 4 0 5 minus 4 0 5 so it will be 5 p and here it will be 40 so p will be 40 by so p is the below of p is what sir it so which option is correct sir here option c is the correct answer option c is the correct answer option c is the correct answer got my point option c is the correct answer here so option c is the correct answer so let me explain again in short they given if the mean of the following distribution of data are given mean is what 15 so from that we have to find out the frequency of p is what that is 
10 how many times occur we have to find out so they given 10 is occurs p times so you have to find out the below p if the mean of the distribution is 15 okay so i just write this one and after that i find out i to find i will find out f1 there is fx summation of fx is what how i multiply all of this corresponding frequency and observation okay after multiplying summation f is became 27 plus p and summation f x is came 445 plus 10p after that i use the simple formula this mean is given what 15 and i use the formula of meaning is what summation of fx by summation of f after putting the values of this one and this one if you do some simple um, simplification the p of the below p is came what 40 by 5 that is 8 so 8 is the correct answer okay 8 is the correct answer got my point okay so move on the next topic so students another topic from the mean that is mean of group data okay that is with continuous frequency continuous means there is no breakdown there is 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 like this only okay so mean of group data can be calculated or can be calculated by three methods okay it will be calculated it is calculated by three methods and the methods are roman one is what direct method as we mean method and step division method so number one is direct method number two is assume mean method and number three is six is step division method okay step division method okay number three step division method now first we will find out the mean by using direct method okay for that we have to find out for all of that we have to find out class mark okay so we have to find out class mark that is xi so xi is the class mark in the previous cases in the previous case class mark is given directly but here is they are given in the form of range okay continuous range so class mark will be u plus l by 2 so what is u sir where u is upper class mark and l is lower class mark Is upper class mark and lower class mark okay now the step steps of direct method steps of direct method okay the first step we have to find out this class mark that is xi so we have to find out xi is l plus u by 2 second method we have to find out that is fx we have to calculate fi xi is what okay we have to calculate fi xi is what then we have to calculate the mean so mean will be here mean this is mean x bar is equal to summation of fi xi by summation of fi okay this formula is very similar to the previous one just here we have to calculate class mark because class mark is not given directly they given in the form of range that is 10 to 20 10 to 5 sorry 10 to 15 like that only okay uh, uh, suppose they given how many students get numbers suppose 50 students given exam so how many students get numbers 50 to 60 there are maybe uh, 20 numbers so how many students get 10 to 15 it may be 51 sorry it may be 51 it may be 53 it may be 54 or it may be 59 okay so they are in group so now we'll we'll do few one or two problems from that topic okay so it will be very much clear to all of you if i do some problem here 
सो स्टूडेंट्स और नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दर इज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फ्रॉम डायरेक्ट मेथड ओके दिस वन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फ्रॉम डायरेक्ट मेथड एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इन टोटल ओके नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज लाइक दैट ए सर्वे वॉज कंडक्टेड बाई ए ग्रुप ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स एज ए पार्ट ऑफ देयर एनवायरमेंट ओके अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम है इज हैपन दे गो फॉर सर्वे होम टू होम इन हुईच दे कलेक्टेड द फॉलोइंग डाटा रिगार्डिंग द नंबर ऑफ लैंड इन ट्वेंटी हाउसेज इन ए लोकल लोकलिटी ओके फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ प्लान पर हाउस दैट इज मीन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट सो देर इज ए देर इज ए प्रोग्राम लाइक एनवायरमेंट अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम और सपोज इन एनी क्लास इट मे बी सिक्स सेवेन एट नाइन टेन ओके सो नियर द स्कूल दे गो ट्वेंटी दे गो डोट गो टू सर्वे फॉर ट्वेंटी हाउसेज एंड द नंबर ऑफ ट्रीज और प्लेंट्स आर देयर ओके सो द क्वेश्चन इज द डाटा इज गिवेन हियर दैट इज नंबर ऑफ प्लेंट्स जीरो टू टू हाउ मेनी हाउसेज आर देयर वन हाउस एंड टू टू फोर इज टू सी फोर टू सिक्स इज वन एंड सिक्स टू एट इज फाइव एंड एट टू टेन इज सिक्स ओके टेन टू टूल्व इज सर टू एंड टूल्व टू फोर्टीन प्लेंट्स आर देयर इज नंबर ऑफ हाउसेज आर थ्री सो फ्रॉम दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द मेन सो दिस इन इज ग्रुप डाटा सो आई राइट हियर नंबर ऑफ प्लेंट्स इन इज नंबर ऑफ हाउस ओके एंड नंबर ऑफ हाउस then we have to find find out class mark that is xi now um, we have to then we have to find out summation of fi and xi is what okay so first is 0 to two planes how many houses there one house sir 0 to 2 to 4 planes how many houses there two houses there 4 to 6 how many houses there one houses 6 to 8 how many houses there five And eight to ten. How many houses there? Six houses there. And ten to twelve. How many houses there? Two houses there. And ten, twelve to twelve to fourteen. How many houses there? Three houses there. Okay. So total number of houses are twenty. Is not it? Total number of houses here what? Twenty. If I sum this one, this one will be four. Four plus six is ten, and ten plus ten is twenty. So summation of f i is what 20 okay now class mark will be upper limit is 0 so lower limit is 0 upper limit is 2 so it will be 0 plus 2 by 2 that is 1 it will be 2 plus 4 by 2 it will be 3 okay and 4 plus 6 4 plus 6 it will by 2 it will be what sir 5 and like that and then after that it will be 7 and it will be 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 it will be 11 and 13 11 and 13 okay these are the class mark so now we have to find out the corresponding frequencies corresponding this one f1 i x1 so 1 into 1 is 1 sir 2 into 3 is 6 1 into 5 is 5 7 into uh, sorry uh, 5 into 7 is 35 sir 6 into 9 is 54 2 into 11 is 22 and 3 into 13 is 39 so now here i find out fx fx and xi is what so fi xi is what we have to find out from here it will came If you sum all of this, it will be one sixty-two. Now, come here. Here we have to find out the mean is what, sir? Mean that is x bar is formula similar to PBS one that is a summation of f x by summation of f. So summation of x is what one sixty-two divided by how much? Twenty. So if I divide by this, it will be ten, and it will be eight one. Is not it? So 81 by 10, that is 8.1. So 8.1 will be the answer. 
So which option is correct, sir? Option B is the correct answer. Option B is the correct answer. So 8.1 will be the correct answer. So the question is like that. In an environment awareness program, some students go 20 houses near the school and this find out few survey how many plants are there in houses that is one to two plants in one houses and the data is given here from the data we have to find out the mean is what so mean is what average is 8.1 okay average is 8.1 so move on the next question sir so students our next question that is question number two from the direct method and total question is four the following distribution shows the daily pocket allowances of children of a locality the mean pocket allowances is 18 find the missing frequency f there is a, in a locality or in a village or in an area okay there are so few students so students pocket allowance means pocket money okay so pocket money or pocket allowances of students are given in the table so there is one term is missing that is f that is 19 to 21 is f is given and the mean pocket allowance is given 18 so from the data we have to find out the missing frequency that is f is what okay that is rupees 20 19 to 21 how many students are there so first is daily pocket allowance okay in rupees next is class mark then number of children okay after that some fx fixi okay fx we have to calculate now First is 11 to 13, second is 13 to 15, that is 15 to 17 and 17 to 19 and 19 to 21, 21 to 23, 21 to 23 and 23 to 25. So if I find the average, this is 11 plus 13 by 2. How much? That is 24. 24 by 2. That is 12. Similarly, 13 plus 15 by 2. That is uh, 28. That is 14. And it will be 16. It will be 18. It will be 19. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is 21 and 23 the last is 23 okay i'm doing some mistake here it will be 20 it will be 22 and it will be 24 now number of children is 3 first then 6 then 13 then again 13 then f then 5 and 4 okay 5 and 4 now we have to multiply this by this okay number of children f is here this one is f i and this one is x i okay now if i multiply this it will be 36 it will if i multiply this it will be 4 6 4 the 24 4 and 8 84 okay if i multiply this by this it will came what now if i multiply this it will be 144 it is only 234 if i multiply this it will be 20 f and if i multiply this it will be 110 and it will multiply this what will it will be 96 it will be 96 so summation of this here i find out mm, number of children that is mean is equal to summation of fx by Salvation F. Okay. So how many? Mean is what sir? Mean is 18. According to the question. Mean is 18. Okay. According to the question, mean is 18. So summation of FI, this one is summation of FI. I'll find out, try to find out here. Summation of 
the fi axis is what it will came near about 704 plus 20f 704 plus 20f and here total number of children is here number of children here summation of f will be 40 plus f okay it will be 40 plus f calculate here 4 plus 9 9 plus 13 9 plus 9 40 18 18 plus 13 18 plus 13 that is 18 plus 13 31 31 31 are and 9 is 40 40 plus f okay so now summation f is 704 plus 20f and divided by 40 plus f by 18 so if you multiply this it will be 20f Plus seven zero four is equal to fourteen to eighteen. It will be four. If I multiply this four into eight, there is thirty two to fourteen to eighteen. Thirty two. Thirty three twenty into zero, and it will be four. Okay, zero to seven two. That is. If I multiply this, it will become eighteen a plus seven twenty. Okay, eighteen a plus seven twenty. So twenty a minus eighteen a is equal to seven twenty minus seven zero four. So two a is equal to sixteen. So f equal to sir sixteen by two. It will become f. So f equal to eight. is the correct answer so which option is correct option c is the correct option c is the correct answer so it is very much similar to the previous one we have to find out the missing frequency what okay so the question is like that the pocket allowances of children in a locality is given in the figure that is in the data and one that is missing that is 19 to 21 is how much i do, don't know we have to find out the it and the total pocket pocket allowances is given 18 so from that First, I write, write down the daily pocket allowances is in the distributed form, and uh, after that I find out try to find out the class mark x i is what. After that number of children I write down, and after that I find out f x i. There is f o x, f i x i is what. Okay, so total number of children are there are 40 plus f. F we have to find out, and uh, to summation of f x is will be 704 plus 20 f. And the mean is given according to the question. Mean is given is 18. So mean is 18. That is mean means what? Summation of f x by summation of f. So after I just put the below of summation of f x and summation of f, and after simplification, what comes? F equal to 16 by 2. That is 8 will be the correct answer. Okay. So 8 will be the correct answer. So option C is correct here. So I am explain here. Static C, that is mean portion. Then after the mean by ungrouped data. Direct method and group data. That is direct method. Okay. Two method I discuss here. Another class. This is the part one of mean of statistics. And the second portion. That is second part. Second lecture. I will explain the assumed mean data and step division method. Okay.